Asia Prime, a U.S. Navy attack submarine struck an object while submerged in international waters in the South China Sea. They say there were no life-threatening injuries and the sub was still fully operational. Officials say it was not yet clear as to what object the sub had struck, but it was not another submarine. It could have been a sunken vessel, a sunken container, or other uncharted object. Two sailors aboard the Connecticut sustained moderate injuries, and about nine others had minor injuries like scrapes and bruises, all treated aboard the sub. In a brief statement providing few details of an incident that happened five days ago, U.S. Pacific Fleet says the USS Connecticut remained in a safe and stable condition. The incident is still under investigation. While the Seawolf-class submarine's nuclear propulsion plant was not affected, the statement did not specify the location of the incident, but two Navy officials speaking on condition of anonymity to discuss details not announced publicly says it happened in the South China Sea while the Connecticut was conducting routine operations. Officials say the sub then headed towards the port at Guam. Indonesian President Joko Widodo is due to select a new armed forces chief in November. Two names are speculated to be the strong candidate, the Navy Chief Admiral Yudo Margono and Army Chief General Andika Perkasa. Air Chief Marshal Hadi Cahyanto retires this coming November. He was appointed back in 2017. The implied guideline in the past has been for the top commander to be rotated among the three military branches. However, President Widodo in 2015 named an army general, General Gatot Normantio, to succeed another army officer, General Muldoko, who later went on to become the presidential chief of staff.